Hello, this is Martin Brown, and today we're going to look at some footage of a photo shoot that I've done with my unwilling brother Callum. <laughs> He's very kindly agreed to uh, to help me out during isolation, and I can't photograph anybody else. Um, so basically, what I've done here is I've taken this first image with just the background light on, and now I've included the front light as well. But as I say in the video. This light is boring as anything, so we're going to change this up. I'm also going to start instructing Callum. So I'm going to get him to bring a foot forward and then put a little bit of weight on it. Anyone who's been photographed by me will know this. Um, it's just a little trick to get people to extend their neck a little bit. Uh, if you lean forward into the photo, uh, you're, might, uh, you're also more likely to be engaged in the eyes because it looks like you're engage these photos aren't great by the way um one of the things that i want to get across with this video is that your images aren't going to be amazing straight away you're going to need to work at it a little bit to get the good images when you're working with people especially because they're going to be thinking about other things they're going to be worried about how they look often and that can change the way they are in front of a camera. I've actually asked Callum not to smile because often if you put on a fake smile for a photo, it's not really a good representation of you as a person. Uh, people perfect these smiles that they use in photos and it's not really them, which we don't want. We want to get some actual personality out of our subject rather than their presented fake smile. So I've asked him not to smile, um, just a neutral expression. And we'll get, as the process goes on, we'll get more natural uh, expression out of him purely as he, as he eases into the photo shoot and gets more relaxed. Um, I'd usually take about an hour to two hours for a photo shoot uh, I do this one in seven minutes so we're not going to get a ton of amazing images uh, I think one or two maybe I'd use out of this and at the end of the video I'm going to include uh, a unedited and edited version of one of the photos side by side so you can see the differences between the photo in the camera and what I'd actually send to a client uh, here I'm removing the diffuser from the front of my light because I don't really like the look that I've got at the moment. So I'm going for my go-to portrait filter, which is a grid, uh, which I <laughs> completely miss. Uh, the grid narrows the beam of light and I haven't adjusted the light after adding it on. So that photo was very, really dark. And not usable at all so I've fixed that now I've turned the light back towards him and immediately my style is quite shadowy I like a lot of shadows in my photo so I've got some nice shadow down the left side of him as we're looking his right and we've got some nice highlights coming from the backlight and the front of the the main light as well in his eyes is reflected these are called catch lights uh, we've got some really nice catch lights in there i'm actually going to turn callum to the windows now and then have him look back to me which we can't see because i've kindly blocked the camera um there's a lot a lot of nice gray tones in these images that i like So I've asked him to lean onto his leg again because he was getting a bit lazy and forgot. So always remind your subject. This is actually a nice photo um, that I could use. Again, we're, we're easing him into the photo shoot. We want to start getting some expression in his eyes. And as you can see there, he was smiling. He was starting to relax a little bit. 
and then we get a blink obviously uh, blink blinking happens it's fine you can joke with your client about that i often say uh, you get three blinks and if you do a fourth one i'll kick you out i never do obviously but it's uh, having a joke with your subject is always is always recommended I'm bringing the light higher now uh, to emphasize the light onto that right hand side of his face. It also creates a nice shadow under his chin. So we get the, the highlight from the on his jaw from the backlight and then a shadow under his chin, which helps to separate him out from his neck. The face is the important bit. We don't need to see his neck as much. Now we get two photos very quickly, one after the other. And the second one is the one that I, the one that I really like, I think is good. There's the first one. And the only thing that I say to him between the two is chin down. So I ask him to bring his chin downwards. And immediately I know that that's the photo I'm going to use. I think it's got a really nice expression. His eyes are engaged, which is something that you have to really work at to keep your subjects engaged in the photo shoot. I do take a few more images after after the one that I really like, because you, you never know, you might get a few more. But I wanted this to be a quite a short photo shoot just so that I could show the whole thing rather than editing stuff out. These are ev this is every image that I've taken. Every time the camera clicks, you'll get to see what appeared in the camera. And this is the last image I take. Uh, and there we are. This is side by side the, the final image, as it were. And I think, I think it's quite a nice study of him. Uh, on the left is the straight out the camera unedited version and I think it's quite a nice neutral expression you could easily use this for an actor's headshot or something similar um, and then on the right you have the edited version which I haven't edited too heavily is I've increased the shadows a little bit I've made them darker and I've increased the general contrast in the image so it's a little bit more punchy but other than that it's it's very similar to the original I've cropped it a little bit as well so I've taken I've taken the top and the bottom edges of the image and just brought them closer into him but yeah um I thought that might be quite interesting to have a little look at a a photo shoot in its entirety, see all the images, because usually we only see the good ones. So I thought it might be quite interesting to see everything and then how I would take that final image and edit it up to, to then be ready for the client. So yeah, thank you very much.